a lot of anger and, and, and things in my head when I was sitting here trying to connect to the technology and decompress. And it's hard, you, it's hard to decompress when you're connecting to uh, technology that's excessive and compulsive and, you know, like the mountain, the rock climbing on the beginning of that uh, propaganda for the basketball game, right? It's like Manuelito again. Let's go back to, to Mr. Manuelito, you know. You never ask for anything you don't need, okay? Why would you climb up on top of that mountain, okay? It, it, your sheep's not going to be up there, okay? Um, it, it, You know, it's... Oh, um, if your condor took your baby and went to feed it to its children, up to its, its, its babies up at the top of a thing, if you climbed up to get your baby, um, you wouldn't, the only thing you could do is climb up there to kill the condor. And you, you're like, why would you do that? Just make a bow and arrow and just shoot the fucking thing. Right. <laughs> We're talking to Manuelito here. Right? I love him very much. He's a very good man. But uh, it's an eclipse today, and that's something that the, the Navajos have dealt with, the Diné have dealt with it very intelligently, okay? If you don't expect, you don't respect other people's religious perspective, how can you expect them to respect yours? All right, me and my dad always have that conversation. And I know he's not going to change, okay? And I fully expect when all this stuff is done for him to spend more time with the other kids than myself, Okay? And uh, he may be one of those people that I tell him all the time. I said, Dad, when all this is done uh, and we're living the Lord's Prayer and people are sharing communally and doing all those things, there's going to be people in our family that think it's all a socialist plot, okay? And he might very well be one of those people, okay? And so he won't want to be around me because I betrayed the Constitution and laws I fair capitalism. And I'm like, I don't know. I want to live Solomon's Israel. Because we all need it. I want to live Muhammad's Mecca because we all need it. I want to live the wisdom of Confucius because we all need it. Okay. I don't care what other people want because they want more than they need, you know. And we talked about things and I, you know, because he sat there and said how some people are stupid and do things mean because I was talking to him and trying to explain to him Steffi's dysfunctions. And he says, oh, she took advantage of you and she meant to do it and she's just being shitty. I said, I don't think she does. She has like that 40 acre to million. And then he finally sat there and I said, Dad, it's wrong to put up a line, fag pull rags, and then try to murder other people that cross over into this country to, to care for their family. A government has to set boundaries. And I said, Dad. How did you get to the United? I didn't say that to him, but how'd you get to the United States? Okay. Now, once you come here and you have a life that you enjoy here, no one else can come here to have a life to enjoy. And I explained it to him the other day as dad, dad, why would someone want to move from Massillon to Fargo? Okay. Why would people want to migrate away from Massillon, Mexico and go to Fargo, North Dakota or Cleveland? Okay. Do you understand? Or Akron, Ohio, for that matter. Okay, So if you have better real estate in Central and South America than they do in North America, we don't want those beaners coming in here. We don't want those wetbacks and those terrorists coming in here. And you're just like, it's hard to explain. I, I, and, but I've talked to the, I, I have spent the last 15 years explaining this stuff to my family. And they still look at me and tell me how wrong I am. Go vote for Donald Trump and tell me we can't talk about religion because Jesus is God. Okay. And I sit there and talk to him and I say, I believe God is omnipotent, omnipotent, and Jesus, our eternal father, teaches us how to believe, how to have faith in God and believe in him. No, Jesus is God. It's like one of us, and then they act like I'm an arrogant prick who's saying I'm God. It's like, no. Okay. I say, I believe Jesus is the father that teaches us to have faith in God. You're saying you believe Jesus is God. Which one of us believes they're God? Do you understand? Okay. <laughs> Most of you are like that. Scientists are like this, okay? I've had conversations with this with scientists in Sierra Vista and here, and they're just like my family. We can't talk that way because there is no God. Okay, so Jesus is their make-believe person in their head, and you're negating the omnipotent essence of all existence to beat them in a game of they're, they're wrong because God, Jesus isn't God. It's, they're, they're both wacko, okay? That last video was very good. One of Keith and me say saying that was, I was like, that, that was good. Well, of course, it's 
the Messiah connecting to people that want to live the Lord's Prayer and world peace worldwide. So, of course, it's going to be good, naturally. Okay, guys, well, I love you very much, all right?